to show you the shed and all this crap is all junk signs and everything else there's heaps of good stuff in my sheds and all this stuff is stuff that I'll sell one day they're right here guys I was burning off here a few years ago burning off this grass and there's all grass along here I've got to cure that grass probably in the next couple of weeks but I was burning off during winter and um, I thought I'd put it out and that later that night I was in my bedroom just directly through there guys excuse any cobwebs you can see I'll be decobwebbing again soon but my bedroom window is just through there got three bedrooms in my house guys and I sleep in my old childhood room um, but yeah I was burning off oh sorry I was burning off in the day and about six hours later I was at night about midnight and I kind of woke up I thank God I woke up guys and I saw this flickering light so this flicking light and I knew straight away, I thought, what the hell is that? And I, then, I, then it clicked to me that I'd burnt off that day and I woke up, rushed out, opened up my shed and the whole inside of my shed was on fire. Not, you know, down this, on this corner section here. And I've got a big plywood going along this shed for my tools and everything else. The plywood covers the whole shed. And uh, yeah, the whole inside shed here was all on fire. Luckily guys I got the hose out and I ended up putting it out and my really really embarrassing guys really really embarrassing you know look at the heat so this is all buckled the top of the roof is all buckled and yeah so luckily I you know luckily I wake up God I'm um, guys I'm saying God because thank God I wake up well he woke me up who knows and yeah managed to put it out guys but far out that was one of the scariest things what's ever happened to me at my house because that shed this shed here is full of so much beautiful stuff flammable materials gas bottles and a lot of other stuff guys I always get sidetracked fellas but before we start with this hay I've got to put these ties inside my shed and also that beautiful old 1900s door I found. I'm not going to be using that for a chook pen door, guys, or a chicken pen door. It's too good, too uh, good to use it. I'll sell that in the markets or a garage sale one day. Anyway, just in my shed, fellas. In my shed, look at all the crap in here, guys. Look at all the crap in here. So I'll be doing a big sort out in the next few months of all my stuff in here this is just one shed my other ones are pretty good guys but there's heaps of trash and treasure in here fellas that beautiful piano there I found the other day uh, probably a year ago two years ago beautiful hundred year old piano someone threw out nothing wrong with it someone died guys and they cleaned out the house and tossed it out but there's all beautiful stuff in here guys some of the stuff will be getting thrown out but a lot of really nice rare stuff and to all my good you know heaps of good tools and so we've got to sort this out in the next few months fellas next few months when it cools down there's heaps of goodies in these boxes here and uh we'll open up this shed and show you quickly so this beautiful old battery display case there guys Heaps of good stuff, a lot of junk too, a lot of junk. Anyway, nice fridge, I found out the tip, nothing wrong with it. Heaps of bookshelves, bookshelves guys. Uh, this, that helmet there is a Vietnam era helicopter pilot's helmet, what used to belong to a bloke in Dombuyong. Um, I'd love to find him so I could give him back to his, um, give, give him back his helmet fellas because my dad, years ago, before my dad passed away, said, he asked my dad if he still had it. And he said that I had it, but we, I was over, over east in the army back then. Anyway, fellas, like I say, a lot of good stuff in here. And a lot of junk, but this is that beautiful piano, what I found out the chip. So beautiful old, 100 year old piano. And uh, so much more, guys. But a lot of good stuff in here, but all my, really good stuff in my other sheds so these are my old army boots when I was in the army still got a couple of pairs of my old army boots and uniform and stuff like that same with the navy all that beautiful rope there and like I say guys this is the place where I nearly burnt down my shed right in here 
luckily, or the back of this plywood caught fire, but luckily I had the hose out the front. But right here guys, we've got flammable stuff and oil and heaps of tins of paint, gas bottles down below, and uh, a lot of other junk. What You know, I would have lost all this shed and probably the house. So, anyone want some uh, nice pickled apricots guys? Probably around 20 years old, 30 years old, rubbish dump find. I picked them up just for the beautiful Fowler's jars, the pickle jars. But anyway guys, like I say, we'll be cleaning up this shed probably in the next few months. Probably, I don't know, between April and uh, June, hopefully. And yeah, the reason I got this shed built guys is so I could build stuff. You know, do woodwork, metalwork, and so much more. But it just didn't work out for me guys because I started hoarding all this beautiful stuff. Save it from being bulldozed out local rubbish dumps. So there's a lot of stuff here what you can't see guys, a lot of stuff what you can't see. But like I say, my sheds are full of beautiful stuff, the other sheds, all my beautiful antique stuff I find and all my 3000 plus antique bottles and everything else. So, and everything basically what you can see is basically what I found out rubbish dumps guys. All rubbish dump rescues, heaps of old stere radios and stereos and what people throw out. So, I've got to find a place for these ties guys. Like I say, one day I'll clean this out and then do a big garage sale. I'll go to the markets and sell it all so I can survive in today's rip-off society. Alright fellas, time to go and do a bit of gardening and unload my truck and trailer and there's a heap of hay over there we're going to put in the garden.